You may have heard or read about PMR while looking for the most optimal way to feed your dog. In raw feeding, you often hear of different acronyms that go with the way a raw meal is formulated. With the raw diet already being a little confusing and intimidating as it is, hearing all these acronyms and debates on which is the most optimal can be even more daunting. In this video, I'll be going over PMR. This will be one of a three-part series explaining three popular formulas, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll see when we upload the next two videos. So what does PMR mean? PMR stands for prey model raw, sometimes called Franken prey, which is the modified method of feeding whole prey. And I will go into more details on whole prey later in this video. This diet operates on the philosophy that dogs are true carnivores and do not need nutritional support from any other food source. The goal is to mimic the ratios of a small whole prey animal as best as possible, which includes roughly 80% chunked muscle meat. And I specifically say chunked because some PMR feeders don't even believe in feeding ground meat as it isn't how it's naturally found in the wild. 10% bone and 10% offal or organ with 5% of that being liver. It's important to remember that these are just guidelines. Every dog is different and the ratios may vary. I would also like to mention before going any further that everything I go over is for an adult dog. Puppies have different requirements as they don't have the ability to regulate nutrients. Now, while these ratio guidelines are also used in both BARF and NRC balanced as well, the difference with PMR is that it's believed to be completely balanced as long as you feed a variety of protein sources, meaning no vegetables, no fruit, no seeds, and no dairy as supplementation. Some PMR feeders may factor in fish and eggs, but that's as far as it usually goes. It's also recommended to feed two to 5% of animal-based fiber, like fur or feathers, as this is something that they would also be consuming when eating whole prey. Riding off the idea that whole prey is the ideal food source for dogs, it's understandable to believe that adding in other foods like veggies, fruits, and seeds wouldn't make much sense. What you have to take into consideration is that there are nutrients that are not met when only feeding raw meaty bone, muscle meats, and organs versus the entire body of an animal. This is why some raw feeders use fresh whole foods to fill these nutritional gaps. Nevertheless, many opponents of PMR criticize the assumed nutrient deficient meals. If you're adamant on not feeding veggies, fruits, or seeds, feeding whole prey at least once a week may be enough to meet the nutritional requirements your dog needs. Okay, well, what is whole prey? Whole prey is exactly what it reads as, a whole prey animal. Eyes, fur, feet, head, blood, and all. Animals that are often fed as whole prey are chicken, rabbit, duck, and quail. These animals should never be fed live and should always be frozen first, especially if feeding wild prey like pheasant, squirrel, rabbit, and waterfowl. It's recommended to freeze wild game for at least a month. So what goes into making a PMR meal? If I were making a full day's worth of food for my 25 pound corgi, this is what it would look like. Matsu needs about one ounce of raw meaty bone, 0.5 ounces of liver, 0.5 ounces of kidney or other offal, and about seven ounces of muscle meat. Today I have beef steak, pork loin, lean turkey, and chicken hearts and gizzards. Because I'm only using meat to balance, I want as much variety as I can get. This is about nine ounces total, which is calculated by his weight, age, and activity level. All items you see in this bowl were either bought from my local farmer or Asian market. Other places to source meats are butcher shops, grocery stores, and online retailers that tend to sell more unique proteins and cuts, which I will link in the description below. So then, what are the pros and cons of PMR? Some pros are simple to calculate and to prep, especially when feeding whole prey. Nutrients are more bioavailable as they're all coming from one nutrient source, which is raw meats and raw bone, and beneficial to dogs with sensitivities to other nutrient sources like shellfish, veggies, nuts, and fruit. Some cons are almost impossible to meet NRC recommended allowances for nutrients, which I will be going over in an upcoming video. Whole prey can be difficult to source and is expensive and the nutrient profiles to many offcuts you may be feeding are unknown, causing PMR meals to reflect low nutrients. I hope this shed a little light on what goes into feeding a prey model raw diet. Stay tuned for our next video on BARF, and in the meantime, check out this video.